The two astronauts stuck on the International Space Station since June are now counting the days until they return to Earth. Butch Wilmore and Sunny Williams' recovery mission will start next Wednesday. It's expected to take a week. They were stranded after their Boeing spacecraft suffered a series of malfunctions. Very few people could know what those two are going through, but former NASA astronaut John Danny Olivas is one of them and is with us now. Danny, if I thought I was going on a work trip for eight days and then ended up staying for like nine months, I'd be losing my mind. <laughs> Maybe space is different. I don't know. What are, what are Butch, Butch and Sonny going through up there? Well, I can say from personal knowledge because uh, I flew... Uh, Sonny Williams is actually a classmate of mine. We both came into the astronaut office in 1998. Um, and on STS-117, my first mission in 2007, she had been on space station for six months already and she had the, the record for the, the longest serving uh, female astronaut in space. So, you know, th I've heard people uh, characterize as being stranded in space and stuck in space, but the fact of the matter is, is these are true professionals and uh, they're, staring, they're staying in space. I tell you what, as a, as a, as a you know, former astronaut who used to go up, if I had an opportunity to stay there longer, I would in a heartbeat. So every time you have to come home, it's always a sad moment. Uh, let's talk about your experience, Danny, because I, I understand that in your, all your, your two space missions, you spent a total of 34 and a half hours outside the spacecraft, getting to do things like spacewalks. What is that like? Well, so, you know, doing a spacewalk is really, they're, they're, it's second to none when it comes to space flight. Um, I was fortunate enough to do two missions or two um, spacewalks on my first mission, three spacewalks on my second mission. Um, as you said, you know, almost 35 hours outside the spacecraft. It's wonderful because you're on your own. Uh, you're really responsible for yourself. It's a very unique experience, a very humbling experience. Um, it's a very solitary experience. When you think about that time up in space on your own, were you scared at any point? Were there any close calls? I, well, you know, you're, you're in an environment where um, the difference between, you know, uh, living and, and dying is, is really like from here to here. You're yeah. alive over here and you're dead over here. So everywhere, you know, death and uh, danger is there and is prevalent. I think for me, there was a healthy level of fear and respect for the environment that I was in. And that kind of always kept me on my toes to make sure that, um, you know, it, I didn't create a mistake or make something worse than it already was. What's the weirdest thing about space? Danny, what, what do we need to know that no one does? Okay, so one of the coolest things in space is when you go to sleep at night and you close your eyes, the particles which are emitted from the sun, heavy particles, protons and neutrons, they're zinging around in space all the time and they're going through everything. Now, they're very, very small. And occasionally they interact with your optic nerve. And when you're asleep at night and your eyes are closed, you get these uh, bright flashes of light. They're called eye flashes at night and they will wake you up. They're so, um, um, I guess, jarring. Oh my God, so when we're like squinting, we're like, oh, the sun's in my eyes. The sun has been in your <laughs> eyes. <laughs> I wonder, Danny, as someone who has seen the world, has your view philosophically on the world changed at all? I mean, you've had that distance, right? Right. Well, there, there's a phenomena that I think occurs to every astronaut that's called the overview effect. Like a perspective, uh, when you're at that vantage point, you don't see human beings walking around in the place of the, on a place we call home. And you get an appreciation that, you know, this is our only home and we are one species on this planet. We're all bipeds. Uh, we all have brains, we have hearts, we think, we have emotions. Uh, we all kind of want the same things in life, even though we may speak different languages. Um, and, and then you also reflect on the fact that if, if you could take that piece, that overview effect and actually share it with everyone on, on Earth, maybe we would look at people differently. And, you know, with that perspective, you know, perhaps we could maybe start treating each other better and maybe um, being a little bit kinder to one another. It's beautifully put, Danny, it really is. Um, it's such an honour to speak to you. Thank you very much for your time. No, thank you very much. And uh, good luck with the cycle down there. Everybody, please stay safe.